Hi, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to start the how to make the Todo app using Spring Boot with Angular Material UI. So here, you can see here, in order to do the task app, we have uh, two entities. First entity is as employee, second entity is a task. So the entity employee consists of the following properties employee id employee name address mobile and active state task table consists of task id task name description and complete so these are the following uh, properties consist of employee table these are the following properties consist of task table so we have to make the relationship in order to make the system we need to make the relationship so it's very simple one to many relationship in this scenario one employee has many tasks one employee has many tasks so what's the relationship is one to many so in this project what is the relationship one to many one employee has many tasks i hope you understand the things well uh, i will see in my next lecturing time. hi welcome back in our last video we we saw the introduction part of the Todo app in this video i am going to create the new project of Todo app so I'm going to go to the Google and type Spring Initializer. You select on this. Click on this link. It goes to the respective website to configure the project. So here, first I'm going to get the project Maven. After that, you have to select the language Java. So now the Spring Boot, we have to the default to select, uh, select the version, select as it is. Okay, we no need to change anything else. We have to select this one. Right. After that, what you are going to do is here, we have to select the uh, project metadata. So here I'm going to create uh, com chapter right, project. I'm going to give the package project. Here I'm going to give the name as Todo app. I'm going to use Todo app. This is my project. Right. So here this this how the package has been created so this how this is this how the package is created com project todo app right so very simple uh, it, it it is very simple we have to configure the project select as java package version select as 17 right after that we have to add the dependencies one by one first dependency i'm going to add here here as my sql this is my sql private this one second one i'm going to add it here as a jpa jpa third one i'm going to add it as here as a jpa third one i'm going to add it as a web these are the three dependencies i'm going to add it so here click generate right now my project is generated here you can see here okay right my project is uh, generated successfully i hope you guys you understood the things well i'll see my next lecturing thank you hi welcome back in our last video we saw how to create the project so in this video i'm going to teach how to open the project in our intel j idea go to my downloadable folder you just i am going to right click and cut i am going to put it to my g drive here i am going to right click here new folder here i am going to give the folder name is tudo app right inside the folder i am going to paste this file this one i'm going to 
extract the folder here click ok now it will be extracted successfully i no need this one i just right click and delete them right so this one i'm going to make it as right click you have to go inside here so this is my project right so i just cut off this one cut this one paste it here right okay so here this one here this is my project simple this is my project right so now what you're going to do this project i'm going to open up my intel g idea so first what you're going to do so i'm going to right click rename i'm going to make this one as a todo app backend backend just name is backend press enter key right here this is the backend part the front end which will be the angular so here now i'm going to open up the vs code editor sorry intel g idea so open up the intel g idea file open select the g drive here where your project is resided g drive you can see here i have created my project inside the g drive which name is to do app so you can see you can find the name to do app so you can see the to do app this one you have to expand it this is the project you have to go inside the folder this is my project to do app backend you just click on select this this file here you can go inside the folder select this file click ok trust project get this window right now now your project is open up the vs code editor you have to wait until the dependencies get installed what are the dependencies you are given this all the dependencies get installed here we have gave three dependencies this all the dependencies here you will be able to see here it, it getting installed so you have to wait until the dependencies completed all the de dependencies get installed now you have uh, here your project has been created now you have to expand it you can see here so all the src folder you can see here inside the src folder main java here your main method if you open this is your main method right it successfully it will be open up on the intel gi i hope you guys understood the things well i'll see in my next lecture thank you hi welcome back in in our last video we saw how to open the project in our intel j idea so in this video i'm going to run this project so if you run the project first what you're going to do is now we are in the main method here inside the package here you can see this is the package we have created com.project.todoapp okay yeah, yeah, we have created and right, this is the package we have created now first i'm going to go to resources inside the resources folder there is a file which is application.properties we already studied these things first i'm going to double click and go inside this file here i'm going to configure the project the database uh, configuration all the things we have port project port and database configuration all the things we are do at in this inside this file so we already we studies this stuff in our last project so i am go back to my last project i go to the application dot properties we no need to write again we just copy this and paste it we just copy and paste it because i already this this these things i already explained so that's why i just copy and paste it over here now here i am going to make this project spring application name as to do app it's a to do app to do app that's it now in the port i am going to change it as 8075 you can assign any port i just given as 8075 the first time i want to create the database so i'm going to create i'm going to create the database so this is the driver so the mysql driver we already 
in, inside the pom.xml we here these are the dependencies we have we have downloaded web mysql connector jpl these are all the things we have already discussed so we no need to discuss more let's go to my application property so this is a driver mysql driver here we have we have a we have a database path so the database this is the port our database name i am going to giving here as uh, i am going to give the database name as here todo app this is the database name i am going to create on the mysql workbench i am going to create the database which is a todo app this is the name this is a user credential of mysql web workbench root this is a username password is root123 this is a jpa configuration you have to add this one that's it simple stuff now let's run the app run the app now let me check here it's building now let me check in is there any error while configuring the project first you have to check it here there is no error here it's working here start to the app it's running perfectly well i hope you guys you understood the things well i'll see in my next lecture in tech